I am so thrilled to be joined right now by Jill Sheffield, who is the president and the whole the head of this entire conference at Women Deliver. Jill, what are your impressions right after closing? Oh my word, I'm, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed by the enthusiasm in that room. One of the things I said was I thought that the energy created could probably have powered this entire conference center <laughs> if they had found a way to capture it. But, but the feeling in the room was one of determination, of really good will and excitement. And one of the super special things were the number of young people. Yes. You know, when we asked the young 100 leaders to stand, it was just this mass of people. It was wonderful. I, there's been a great mixture of kinds of people, 149 countries. Wow. We had 4, 000, more than 4,500 people. 2,200 organizations and 411 journalists who actually turned up. Wow. That doesn't even count the virtual ones. So I think this is moving into history. I think this was really a historic moment. You and your staff should be so proud, and I hope you can sleep a little bit tonight. Looking back over the past three days, and you had pre-conferences even before that, what are your top three moments that stood out in your mind? I suppose one of them was this morning with Helen Clark, the head of UNDP. Mm -hmm. She was so eloquent. You know, one of, she said a lot of things that I, I wrote down, and one of them was inequality harms us all. And that's a really important thing to take on. Of course, another high point was this afternoon session, which went in wild directions and got the crowd really woken up. It, it was just amazing, talking about sex and sexuality and roles and changes. And yeah. it, it was quite wonderful because it was on the one hand really philosophical and thoughtful, but on the other hand, really practical and something people wanted to think about. The other thing that stands out for me, well, there are two other things I just have to say. I'll allow you for. Thank you. <laughs> was the media. Mm -hmm. I had several encounters with journalists, um, press conferences. I spent some time in the, in the media room. And the willingness of the journalists to help us get these changes moving, mm -hmm. get the news out, to help us move to the business pages and the front pages. There's a real commitment to do that, and I'm thrilled about that. And in the middle of the day today, I met with the ministers who were here. We had ministers of health mm -hmm. and some ministers of finance, imagine. Wow. And when they were talking about what it meant the most to them, the spokesman for the group was Minister Pat, Pat, Pate, mm -hmm from Nigeria sure. and he said the thing that was most exciting to him were the young people. They were there, they spoke, they were energized, they gave great ideas to the ministers. He said they always had good, useful, important things to say. Wow. And it was the first time he felt they really had been integrated into a meeting like this and he said I, it was the greatest value. All of the ministers talked about how great that was. Wow. So I, I think that those are indicators of the kind of diversity Definitely. and successes. Definitely. So now we have to go home and do it. Well, I think that's a great closing word and just a huge congratulations to you and your team, Jill. Thank you. Thank you.